Hey guys, it's me, Andrea Patrick, and I'm back with another episode of Be The Brand TV. On today's episode, we are talking campaign development. It's a thing, people. Your brand has value because of you, and your confidence to share that value comes from within. Congratulations for recognizing your need for change. Welcome to Be The Brand TV. All right, guys, quick and simple, easy and harmless. Today we're talking about campaign development. It's October where I am. And guys, this is sort of the tail end of campaign development season for the holidays. If you are watching this video today and you have a campaign, if you have a campaign that you want to run for December, this is the time you should be really on top of it to get that campaign created. Um, campaign development happens in a timely fashion, guys. You've got to know, well, you've got to get started with the end in mind. So today I want to give you a couple of tips to sort of help you with that. If not for this year, then definitely for the next campaign. So the first tip I want to give you is to be realistic about your goals. Start with the end in mind. And everybody's heard me talk about SMART goals. Um, you want to be very specific. You want the goals to be measurable. You want them to be achievable or attainable. You want them to be um, realistic and you want them to be timed. So if you're not using that formula, look that up. Those are smart goals. I might put a link below to help you with that. But you want to have a realistic goal for your campaign. The goal is to increase my social media followers this holiday season. The goal is to sell X amount in toys this holiday season or X amount in products this holiday season. Whatever it is, make sure that it's realistic and that you have at least set something and you start it with the end in mind. Next, you want to have some sort of analytics in place so that you can measure your process, measure your success of your campaign. That's gonna help you to know what needs to be adjusted for the next time, if there needs to be a next time, and sort of what it is about the campaign that worked and um, how you can replicate that. So you want to make sure that you have analytics in place. You've got Google Analytics, which is a free opportunity for you to capture that information. But then most of the social media campaigns, if, I mean, social media platforms have an analytic component to it. So make sure you are on the business version of those social media campaigns because you are going to want to tap into those numbers to sort of see how well your campaign did or did not do and whether or not you should repeat it. And the last thing you want to do is to start planning your campaign in a timely manner. And when you start with the end in mind, what that tells you is you're able to work backwards to determine when you actually need to start the campaign in the first place in order to achieve the goal you set for yourself. So the three tips I have for you once again is to set realistic goals for your campaign, what it is you want to do. Make sure you start with the end in mind. Next, set yourself up with some analytics to capture all of your numbers so that you'll know whether or not the campaign you ran was the right one, if it needs to be adjusted, if it needs to be eliminated, or if you need to ramp it up a little bit because it works so well. And then lastly, um, in order to create a killer campaign is to make sure you start it in a timely manner. We are in October. If you are just now starting your holiday campaign strategy development, you might be a little bit behind the eight ball, but you're not too, too late. So just know um, that you should have a definite amount of time that you worked backwards from when you started with the end in mind, work backwards to determine exactly how much time you're going to need to achieve your campaign goals. So I hope this helped you. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel because guess what guys, I'm growing and I want you to grow with me. And if you haven't already, oh my goodness, subscribe, subscribe. It's important that you do that. And if you have any other comments or suggestions on how people can create a killer campaign or if you have a certain time frame that you feel has worked for you, make sure you share that down in the comment section below. We all want to hear about it. Anyway, until the next time, thank you again for joining me for another episode of Be The Brand TV.
Okay, guys, if you like what you heard, be sure to subscribe, share with your friends, and grab the information that I'm sharing with you below because my job here on Be The Brand is to help you live your value, love yourself enough to be yourself, and lead with intention and purpose. Until next time.